Hey there UK DCers. Many of you will already know what this is. This was sent to me by Carl Pearson over at British EDC. Thank you very much for the Lend Man. I know this is very difficult to replace if uh, anything happens to it, so I will baby this. Uh, thank you very much for the loan. Um, without further ado, this is unlikely to be the box it comes in. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it will probably just come in a uh, thing, and I haven't even opened it from his um, his bubble wrap there because I wanted this to be a surprise for the camera. I've already seen this, but I've never never been hands on now. Do you want to be very careful with this? So we're gonna come in. From the top there. Oh, and there she is. She's lightly oiled. That is shockingly light. This is heavier. Um, I mean, obviously it's got steel scales, whereas that's got titanium, but... Yeah, that is that is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So... Oh, I'm so jealous. This is such a good-looking knife as well. Now, uh, this is definitely one I'm not going to take apart. Um... It's just impossible to get replacement parts for this, I think. Uh, he's not even sure if he's ever going to make any more of these or what he's doing, so... I am not going anywhere near this with my tools. But you can basically see... Phosphor bronze in there, I th think? Uh, it could be Teflon. Oh, well, perhaps one day I'll have one of these on my own and then I'll, I'll abuse that, but... Where this isn't one you can just buy replacement parts for, so e even if I damage this, I wouldn't be able to buy a replacement part or something like that. It'd just be, that's it. Um, I'm not willing to, to risk anything like that, so. Now, he showed me how to open it, but, and I, I've already read online as well, like, that's, this isn't a flipper tab. This is a, um, it's sort of just the, the initiation to, just to get it past that, that little... A bit. I mean, you can't you can't flip this because if you try, this spring will stop it when it gets to like there. But I do. I just really want to. Yep, yeah, they're not. They're not kidding. There is no way that's just not going to happen. So yeah, I just need to figure out how to position my hands better. Ah, oh, slipped off. There you go. With a bit of practice, you can get that in one smooth motion. But that stops it closing on you. Of course, you've got this crazy solid lock-up spring here. That's Oh, that's just magnificent, that thing, isn't it? Look at it. If we could actually focus on it properly. There we go. Look at that brushed finish, if I can actually have that nice and clean and there you can see see this one's definitely a a well looked after one this isn't abused or anything like that and you know it's funny because it's it's the the least safe queeny safe queen if it, as it were uh, you know the, these are absolutely able to put up with crazy punishment these things Yeah, nothing unpleasant. I'd, well, if I had to be really picky, I'd say just the top of this is a, a very slight sharp edge when you when you lock in there. But that's that's just being really pedantic. It's it's no bother at all, really. It's, maybe if you're really going for it, that would that would create a hot spot. Like if I really lock in, you can see it's sort of there just on my finger what it's doing but you can just go back a bit and not not touch it and that's that's fine look that
that is pocket clip is deep carry which is just perfect it will come up to yeah I guess I'll use this uh, oh what's this uh, MKM by the way quick update uh, I'll throw it in here why not they uh, they sent me the screws for this they sent me a bunch of them um, just to be kind, which is, uh... there they are. I've already used two, they sent me all of those. And they also sent me a little patch. And they, that's obviously just a, a catalog of all their stuff there. Great knives, by the way. I have this one. See? Uh, but yeah, um, really rating that service, to be honest the whole reason I got this was to do this with look at that just nothing nothing sticks out above you've got that tiny little bit I guess that's a teeny tiny little edge there but that's just ideal no markings on it nothing like that the only markings on the entire knife are right I just need to this is only if you want to do one smooth motion, I guess. It's just that MJR there. I've no idea on the steel on this. Um, I've seen a couple of different ones. I, th I think I've seen RWL 34 and LMAX, I think it was, was the other one I saw these were made in. Uh, RWL 34 and LMAX, um, there might be other ones. I might be wrong, uh, but this, that's just sort of remembered. You've got this beautiful stone wash finish on the handles here. There we go. Oh man, just look at it. And this wonderful sort of British racing green backspacer there, which I, I assume that's G10. Could be my car though. But yeah, it's just no blade play whatsoever. Mm, centering very, very, very slightly favours the clip side. Like, it's so minute one could possibly adjust the pivot and sort that but like I said I'm not going anywhere near this with, with tools just look at this chamfered edge it starts there and then just goes out into this lovely man this is so much nicer than the Spyderco pits in my opinion I've, I've handled the Spyderco pits and the Spyderco like version of this knife it is nice but the finish on the handle is just odd and very prone to nasty scratches whereas this one because of the stone wash it sort of fade in a little bit better you've got a nice brush finish on that blade which is just super easy to fix if there's anything wrong oh, I, know, I say super easy but it's fixable you know you, you could if you've got a big old nasty scratch you could sort of at least like try and sand it out a little bit or something like that um, any scratches this way which is you know the thrust of the knife are probably going to be quite well hidden anyway just because of the direction of the grain there lovely belly on that blade sharpening choil Very nice and sturdy. This it just seems to tick so many boxes. This lanyard hole, reversible pocket clip, ambidextrous. Now, um, that's my first impressions right there. Uh, I am going to be. 
I'm not going to take this outside because I cannot bear the thought of this dropping out of my pocket and just not being able to replace it. Uh, but I will be carrying this just, you know, around the house doing chores and things like that. And uh, you know, honestly, it's good. <laughs> You know, it's just going to be the sort of like the, the leisure knife, I guess. Uh, and just like bits of string, maybe open a letter, stuff like that. It's, it's going to be ultra light use. I am desperate to not ruin this for uh, for British EDC who <laughs> lent me this. And I will cut in, because it's going to be such a light review, obviously I'm not putting this to any heavy test or anything like that. I'm not actually going to be carrying this to work or anything crazy because... I mean, you've seen some of my... You know, this is the result of coming to work with me. All them scratches up there. So, no chance. So it's just going to be an ultra-light carry, and then I'll, I'll cut here to do my conclusions on it, um, how it felt in the pocket, uh, how easy it was to pull out of the pocket, how how difficult that deploy deployment was, um, because I see that, you know, I'm obviously so used to doing this. I see that being my first major hurdle. I'll have to study that video again and really get that down. And we're back with this. Um, I've carried this for about three weeks, just very lightly around the house for string, opening letters mostly, to be honest. Um, this is definitely a, a bit of a grail knife, so I don't want to damage it or anything. Um, I've sort of mastered that. You can see it's just one smooth action there. You just have to figure out where to put this in your, in your hands, and it's just push that, and you can open it with that. Nice one, one nice smooth action. Very comfy very light like surprisingly like this thing it does still bang around a little bit it's not a small knife uh, so it is still noticeable uh, and it is one of those that you don't want to put anything else in your pocket with because you don't want to mess up this nice finish although it is stone wash so you probably hide some of the scratches you can see that and then let me let me get some better light here there we go but yeah, um, a knife that's this hard to get, um, it's not even the price, it's just, you can't get them. As soon as they go on sale, they're sold, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm using a, a loan one. There's, there was one the other week, but it had a small issue with it that went on sale, but that went in, in seconds, so. But yeah, all in all, this has been an absolute joy to, to carry, um, just as I thought, you know, it's, very nice shape. You got your deep carry pocket clip if you did want to take this outside. Um, like I said, I think the one the one thing that's a little bit of a miss on this one is it's just I mean, this has been pitiful, but there's this very slightly, very slightly favours the clip side there. Um, but again, who knows? That could be fixable by adjusting the pivot. Not going near this with tools, I'm afraid. So, oh, and I did also find out that. It is 100% phosphor bronze because you can see them through this gap. If I pull this out, there you go, you can see them right there. They are big old washers and they are phosphor bronze. So, absolutely lovely. Uh, thank you very much, Carl, for lending this to me. I know that was a big old, big leap of faith there. I'll have this back to you nice and quick. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and cheers.